Hi, welcome back to my channel. I have two clips I would like to share with you. They are uh, two clips that I filmed earlier this morning when I was trying to film. This is probably number five or number six that I'm filming. The first clip will show you what it looks like outside right now. We have a deep cloud layer, which is making my filming area on the floor kind of dark. My front door is open and it's that way. So I wanted to show you uh, how cloudy it looks outside. And then the second photo or clip is of Bruce gnawing on his bone. When I was filming previously, he was uh, going crazy on the floor with his bone. And I thought I'd share that with you too. So let me insert that here right now. So I want to show you a quick clip of Bruce. You can see how dark it is in here. But there's Bruce gnawing on his bone. So I did lighten up the clip of Bruce so that he didn't look too dark, but it is still dark inside. Um, so I'm gonna quickly share with you my cousin. This is 10 months worth of inserts, photos, um, comics, washi tape, some stickers. Let's go with the, why is this under here? So this is, this would be a, uh, this is a vertical layout, real simple, but let's go to October for this week. And that is here. So I broke it down like this, decorating it for Halloween. So I have uh, Michael's washi tape. This is a washi tape my sister bought for me from Daiso. These are stickers that I made myself. And so for this week, I decided to do checkbox of things that I needed to do and then I would check them off as I did them and then if I had the appropriate sticker like laundry I'm doing laundry right now I would go ahead and put it down there's trash uh, the gardener came on Wednesday packages are over here this is for last week uh, I didn't do this because it was our anniversary and meh, didn't feel like filling it out but same concept, check boxes, and um, check them off as I went. And if I did any pre-planning decoration, this would be it. This is the week before. And then some of these are uh, sticker flakes that I either got from the Sticky Club or um, the Sanrio store at the mall where they sell sticker flakes. Like these guys. I think this is Sweet Kwai Design. Sweet Kwai. And then this would be what is um, something that I would normally do. So I don't, I don't do this all the time. I do this. So I stay with the vertical. And then again, check boxes. Washi on the bottom. Packages over here. So that can give you, in a layout, give you an idea of how to do your layouts. So that's what it looks like the past few weeks. And now on my daily pages. Um, I still have not been feeling great, so I did not do a whole lot of watercoloring. I did sketch. So this is a crested duck. It has a what I would call a pom-pom on its head. There is his skull is deformed differently, which causes a large tuft of feathers to stick out at the back of their heads. Their lifespans are eight to twelve years and they weigh up to two to seven pounds. So it's a cute little duck. That's what looks like a pom-pom on its head. On the eleventh, which was Tuesday, Angela Lansbury passed away. She was one of my favorite actresses. Um, so since I want to color in the crested duck and I am worried that the water would soak through the page, I printed these photos out on paper and so I didn't want to put it down yet. So I'm going to color in the duck and then I'm going to tape down these photos that I printed of her. This is when she was in Gaslight. She played the maid. Great movie if you haven't watched it yet. And the next photo I printed, she was in uh, Dorian Gray. Excellent movie. 
if you want to watch it, this is the one to watch with her in it. Now, he actually, in um, when they were older, <laughs> um, he actually starred in Where Did She Wrote? So I highly recommend that if you like cozy mysteries. Those are fun. And then in this, actually, this should probably go right here. Because in this role, this was actually Death on the Nile with uh, by Agatha Christie. I think it was made in the 70s. And Peter Ustinov was her Q Poirot. And I think she played a drunk or an alcoholic writer. So this was this is the layout that I plan to um, put on this page. Now over here, uh, I was on an owl kick. So this is a great horned owl. This is the adult. That's what a baby would look like. An owlet, I think is what they call it. So it looks like that. And then down here, I would write some information about the owl. Over here is a barred owl. And I really like the pencil sketch. I don't know if you can see it. Again, same thing. Um, information about it down here. Over here is a great eared night jar. Look it up. This is an incredible looking animal. It looks like a little dinosaur in some of the photos that I found. But it sort of has like a flat head. But it's really neat. It's a bird. Uh, I plan on putting photos down here, so that's why they're blank. And then these are two, ske uh, four sketches that I did last week. TMC asked me to watercolor them in, so I only did two pages. So once I did these two, I wasn't too happy with the watercolor. So I left these two blank. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I think I need to make the photo smaller, and I was trying to find... I know I did another elephant scene somewhere and now I can't find it. So I think that the next time I sketch um, yeah, that's strange. Now I can't find it. The next time I sketch the elephants, I think I'm just going to keep it on the smaller side so that it looks nicer. Oh, I can't find it now. So this is um, my pencil sketch of the elephants. Very quick look of my Hobonichi cousin.